Welcome. This object, this question says a jet plane travels through the air at 350, uh, 335 meters per second. The speed of sound in air on this particular day is 300 meters per second. Then we have two questions. What is the Mach angle uh, of the shock wave associated with the passage of the jet plane? And then what is the speed of the jet plane expressed in as a Mach number? So what's going on here? Well. If we imagine uh, an object kind of moving, it sets up a pressure wave, and we can imagine that if it's going slowly, the pressure wave, uh, if it's going slow in the speed of sound in air, the speed of sound in air is the speed with which a pressure wave will move through the air. So we can imagine that if, if this was the point of the, of the object uh, uh, three seconds ago, we can imagine a, 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 a kind of pressure wave that's gone that far in three seconds. And if this is where the object was two seconds ago, we can imagine the pressure wave like that. And if this was the position of the object one second ago, then yeah, <laughs> sorry, they disappeared. Then we can imagine a pressure wave looking like that. So there's a little bit of a bunching up here. Um, if we go faster, then what happens is here we are again three seconds ago. And then we're a bit further on after two seconds. And then we're a bit further on kind of one second ago. And you can see there's these, these things are, are, are kind of lapping up on each other. They're kind of joining together. And if we go even faster, then here we were three seconds ago. And then here we were two seconds ago. And then here we were one second ago. And you can see if you if we were to draw this, you know, split second by split second, we'd find we'd get this cone. It's a shock wave. What happens is the energy builds up and builds up and builds up and builds up. And it, it all rides at the same point uh, in the air. And so if you're stood here and this thing is going past you, you'll feel this wave all at once. And it's got a tremendous amount of energy in it. And so you hear a big bang. And that's the sonic boom that people talk about. And you get that rather than here. If I was here, I'd hear that wave and then that wave and then that wave. So I wouldn't hear a bang. But once you get to this point, when you're going travel faster than the speed of sound, the shock waves all line up on each other and you hear a big sonic, sonic boom. Um, well, okay. So uh, um, what we're talking about is expressing a speed that, like this which is faster than the speed of sound in a very specific way and we talk about the Mach angle which is the angle that the cone makes to the direction of the plane and we talk about the Mach number which is the speed of the plane, the jet plane in this case, expressed as a, a basically a, a ratio to the speed of sound in air. <clears throat> so that's my visualization let me uh, clean up a little bit because I want to show you a little bit of a, a geometrical construction that will help us. And that is, I'm going to now imagine that my plane is traveling this fast. And the speed of sound is, I'm going to draw a kind of dotted circle. That's how far the speed of sound goes, but this is how far. In, in one second, and that's how far the jet goes in one second. Well, if I construct a right angle there, then this is my cone angle, and uh, um, this is the velocity of the source, and this is the velocity of sound in air. And uh, so now I can get two equations. I can say that my uh, Mach angle is theta. And I can say sine theta is going to be opposite. This, of course, is a right angle. Opposite over hypotenuse equals V air over V source, which equals, well, in this case, my traveling through air, so that is 300 over 335 
And if I get my calculator out, first thing you always do is check which mode you're in. So I check mode and I am in degrees. And then we say, okay, well, this is second sine, that's sine to the minus one of 300 divided by 335. And this is going to be 63.57. So theta is going to equal 63.57. I call it 64 degrees. So there's that's my angle here. It's from the straight through direction uh, to the shock wave. And then my Mach number, my Mach number is equal to the ratio between what you're traveling at the source over speed of sound in air, which equals 335 over 300 so my Mach number is equal to well that would be 1 1 1 point six six uh, which we can call 1.12 I'm sorry that's that's not <laughs> that's not my uh, mental arithmetic which is why we put things down on paper <laughs> So that would be one point, which is 1.2 uh, Mac. Um, so there we have it. It's uh, relatively, once you visualize it, it's, it's relatively straightforward. A couple of things to watch out for. In many books, they call the velocity of sound in air um, uh, V, and they call the velocity of the source Vs. And of course, it's easy to interpret this as V sound. <laughs> and so it's easy to get this, these things backwards. But if you think about it, you know, that's, a sine theta can never be equal to more than one. So if you have sine theta is equal to 335 over 300, you know you've got these things backwards. Uh, now, what's not so obvious is the Mach number, but typically Mach numbers are only used when you're working above the speed of sound. So if I got a Mach number that was less than one, then I would be very concerned and I'd go back and check things. So there we have it. So the answer is uh, C and there we have it.